Sean Price. Uh, I'm banging on Beirut. Uh, Beirut. I just seen a special on it on TV. You know how it was once a beautiful place, and then because of the war, it got crazy, and it's like it's banging up there. So you know, I'm banging on Beirut. I'm training the state boats. You know, that's that's these steel toe cotton shit that the uh, state issue you. You know what I mean? They fucked up boots, but you know. <laughs> if you train the nose, you know, you're strong, so. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Nigga, I hate you. Break you. Yvonne Drago, I'm rushing to put pellets in your pecan pronto. P. Uh, yeah. I, I don't like you. I'm gonna fuck you up. Yvonne Drago style, you know what I mean? Or, yeah. well, you know, he's Russian. So, I, you know, so I play on word, the word Russian. Russian to put pellets in your pecan pronto, you know what I mean? So, I'm nice, P. <laughs> <laughs> P forever, I'm better the wordsmith. Lyrically, Michael the Tyson, you, Trevor the Bird. That mean I'm better than you, you ain't shit. P. You talk about lunch packs, what is it, in the first verse? You know, I'm, I'm not going to um, <laughs> decipher that. I'm an old school deceptor. We right, don't have no, a bad book of codes. You know, but I have a lot of friends that are whatever we want to call them, Bloods and Crips. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, you know, some of them they code. Right, you know, right. I'm neither, but you know, yeah. I don't, I, we, DCEPs don't have no code. We just fuck you up and, and move on. Like, <laughs> it's nothing to decode Done. about that. It's nothing to decode about that shit. Yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> you know, I always make these um, ingredients like, in my mind, like, what's a tough nigga uh, combo? Like, there's a drink called Tough Nigga. What would be in the class of tough nigga? So, I had one joint before this I had on, on Kimbo's, a Price album. I had one part Henny, one part Hypno, a slice of Kimbo, and a pinch of Apocalypto. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a bottle of tough, that's a you know what I mean? So, Kimbo slicing the slice of Jim Kelly. That's not bad, too. So, that's all that is. That's my glass of tough nigga. Pig. In this section, we talked to Sean about Pyrex, Barbarian, and STFU Part 2. Nike galore, right on the floor. Cop 20 paired with Vinny one time on tour. A big on my brother Vinny Paz. Um, we, I was on tour with him, and um, we was in uh, Boulder, Colorado. We stopped at a store for installation, and we brought like 20 pair of kicks, man, both of us, like. And then we came back the next day because the Pee Wee Hermans were coming out the next day. So we went back the next day, actually 21 pair. I'm a little off. What up, Vinny? Serengeti Spaghetti, what's good, baby? Pee! No, I don't want a Dougie. I just want money. I studied under the understudy, the 120. You, um, you know, at one time, you know, um, how to do is do their mathematics. He uh, was around the way. He snatched me and my brother Illinois up. My man, uh, Aunt Dre. And he was just like, yo, you God. I'm like, what? You know what I mean? <laughs> you God. And you come back around in the morning at 3 o'clock. You know what I mean? And I'm going to start giving you other lessons. I'm like, what? Like, 3 o'clock, we always came that way from school. So he was going to see us. Yeah. And then my name is Born. <laughs> 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 you know, the geek gave us names. Then your name, this is how I got introduced to it. And, you know, and um, and back then, you know, a lot of guys, they, they would know that um, they just didn't hand you a paper. They said it to you. You just had to remember it when they come back. And, you know, we young. We did it for, like, four months. And then I'm like, yo, I just want to play basketball. Man, we talked around the back. Mathematics here, you did it. I'm like, come on, man. Well, so we just started running for mathematics. <laughs> well, well, but later on, I took it serious, though. But that's how I got introduced to it, though. Well, peace to the gods and hers. I don't know today's math. Don't keep track of time. Universe will be down. Be down your universe. Sean P, a.k.a. you the worst. Um... You know, that's when you're not on point with your lessons, you ain't studying. You know, back in the day, they would give universal, universal beatdowns. It wasn't just to fuck you up, 
But I said, like, yo, you don't know your shit? I'm gonna pound you out, dude, till you know your shit, you know what I mean? So, universal beat down, you know, fuck it. You know, the dude trying to do that to me? What if I fuck him up? <laughs> then I beat down the universe, you know? And I still ain't on point my shit? You the worst. P, word up, you know what I'm saying? You know, back with Milk was chilling, my man smoked a bag of dust and killed his children. That shit ain't real. I just made it up. But it's sad. I had you. P. <laughs> no fucking around no Will to Stilton. Um, I'm not I'm not fucking around. And Will Chamberlain, nickname is Will to Stilton, one of his nicknames, you know. Allegedly he fucked around a lot. Well I ain't fucking around. P. Cover your Ralph Trez van, quilt your feelings. You know. Respect, dude. I love New Edition. I ain't want shit, you know, all of them. But, um, you know, they got this thing with saying Ralph Tre... Yo, you Ralph Trez Van Ness, nigga. Which <laughs> mean, like, I don't know. I don't know who made it up. I'm a big Ralph, you know, like I said, but... I guess because he made the record sensitivity. <laughs> Instead of saying you a sensitive-ass nigga, they go, man, you fucking Ralph Trez Van. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that's, you know, the true story. But I'm a big New Edition fan. I ain't trying to disrespect him. But that's where that come from, you know what I mean? So, cover your Ralph Transvet, you know what I mean? Cover that sensitive shit, man. You know, quote your films, you know what I mean? Yeah, pick. I spit prison Iman bars that'll put you in the ER, Paul. Shut the fuck up. That's about, you know, having that power. Um, you know, you can abuse the power, or you can use it for right. And also, I, I watch Oz, Kareem Saeed, the the imam on the house. Yeah. You no, know, he was powerful, man. You know, he could say the right thing and turn it up. So I spit prison imam balls. That'll put you in the ER, Paul. Shut the fuck up, pig. You know what I'm saying? The biggest religion is Muslims in prison. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, How about just, that? I mean, whatever they're in it for, whatever they're in it for, they Muslim. And, you know, some people in prison will join the Muslims just to be a, Right. For protection. Yeah. Because they're, you know what I mean? Yeah. I've never, I actually, I took my shahada in the street in, in, in Amsterdam of all places. Really? Yeah, yeah. Really? I took, yeah, I took my shahada in Amsterdam. Wow. But when I was in prison, I agreed with what was going on. I just wouldn't do it because I didn't want nobody to think I was a cat. Straight up, I'm not. Because I'm home on. Like, I'm not doing it for You're not protection. joining. Like, my man, I, you know, he's Spanish. You know, respect the Spanish people, but he wouldn't be like a Latin king. Like, you know, we just, who we all we were standing on our yeah. own. You know what I mean? Respect dude. Yeah. You know? So. Yeah. Now we talk to Sean about Genesis of the Omega, barbecue sauce, and heartburn, with a little middle section about his recent tiff with Cornell West. Being funny, stepping on hot, cold, shock of Zulu. Spear chuck in your front and I'ma shoot you. That's just, you know, I, I don't know if you ever watched um, Shaka Zulu, the movie. Mm -hmm. There was a part with it, you know, they had slipped, they had these sandals on. He was like, yo, they're restricting me. He said, what? And he said, he told the teacher, they, they slowing me up. I do it better barefoot. They put the sandals on. And he, so, you know, to make an example of it, he threw a hot call on it. He stepped on me and looked at him like, yo, like I said, you know what I mean? These shits is restricted me. I need to be busy. You know, like no problem. Let's go step on this call. Stupid, I'll get busy. So, barefooted, stepping on hot, cold, shock, and zoom, or spit, chuck in your front, and I'm gonna shoot you. That's, just, that's me bragging like, I'm not thinking, I'm not tough. Whatever. Let's do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, pig. Who cares for life? Be nine times out of ten, you can catch me in Nikes. Um, it wasn't even about the Nikes. I'm just boot camp. The name of the song is the genesis of, you know, like the start of the ending. Like, you can tell I'm, I'm, I'm almost done with this rap. I don't even like boots no more. That's what the whole line is about. Never mind Nike. I don't like boots. So, you know, you. Nike is my favorite brand, so you'll see me in those before you see me in boots. It gotta be the start of the ending for me, man. I'm boot camp. You know what I'm saying? Pig. Handball, beverage, ball, beverage. Um, 
You know, I'm, I'm, I'm older than everybody here, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, as a kid, I watched the Hannibal Barrel World of cartoon, whatever they called it back then. They had um, the Herculoids, you know what I mean? Um, what else they had? The uh, Impossibles, Birdman, Frankenstein Jr., Johnny Quest, just like a cartoon hour of just crazy shit. Fantastic Four, it was L, so, you know. Thunder the Barbarian, you know what I mean? You know, the Barbarian. Yeah, so I am the Barbarian, Barbarian. You know, childhood shit. Fucking can, can dancing. Blam, blam, and <laughs> shucking and jiving. Man can advancing. I mean, some of this rap shit. Yeah, dude, some of these rap niggas do look like man can funny, man. You know what I mean? Um, they, you know, it, 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 this ain't even a diss to a region. It's New York niggas like that too. So don't think I want some some country or country. It ain't that. It's niggas in New York. Yeah, niggas in the shock and the job or sometimes. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I probably shock and job a few times in my life. Too. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Who the fuck am I to judge? You know what I mean? But that's how I felt at the moment. That's my rhyme, and, I, and I, I'm sticking with that. Pig. I just got, you know, I just had an article with Cornell West on Twitter, so. And I know, I know you don't like him very much. You know what, I said something just. In that voice interview, you said I something. I said something that was, you know, I don't even know if it's true. I just felt that way, I blurbed it out. Right. And in return, he wrote, I hope he finds, you know, Jesus. And, you know, and, you know, uh, you know find love. You know, so, and I wrote back, no doubt, sir. Like, right? not. Getting into a, with Cornell West, right. you know, respect me. I should respect my anyway. My bad, you got that. Yeah. Clearly, you know what I mean. That's it. I'm good. I'm glad. I'm glad it had a happy ending. Right, you're not, right, you know. right. I wasn't gonna get on there. What people? <laughs> smack your motherfucking asshole! <laughs> no, smack your glasses off. Me. Smack your glasses off. You gonna see me? You gonna see me, nigga? You gonna see me, nigga? I'm gonna smack your motherfucking asshole off, huh? What the fuck you talking to? Like, nah, I get that. Super cyber thumb and shit. I'm not going to do that to Cornell West. That is wild, man. This is not good. I said no doubt. You read it? I wrote no doubt, sir. I said nothing else. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know, I, you know, of course, I got a friend. I what the fuck that nigga? I'm like, no, <laughs> no, no, fuck that nigga. Don't do that. You said it on the radio last night. Leave that man alone. He's looking for attention too. Right? Sure. You know, he's, he's got, he's got some looks like everyone Even else. Even if he did want attention, yeah. he wasn't going to get that from me. Like, what nigga? <laughs> what you going to do? Like, that's not gonna happen. Right. Um, but the father do floss, I make your mom suck my dick with barbecue sauce. Hey, um, these are tour, Sky Zone, and Prince, you know what I mean? And um, we talk about how these niggas is crazy, these battle rappers, they say anything, like, like they go too far. Like, I couldn't be a battle rapper due to sensitivity. Like, <laughs> you're, not gonna, you're not gonna invite my daughter, you know what I mean? To, <laughs> Like, it sounds funny, but I'm too sensitive. Right. I'm gonna punch you. You might, I'm not saying I'm gonna win, but I'm taking a swing. Clearly, I'm taking a swing. Right. You shouldn't have said that. What the fuck is going on? Right. So I'm sensitive. So I'm like, damn, that's the foul shit. What's the foul shit to say? And I kept saying on tour, I'm making mom suck my dick with barbecue sauce. And then we just started laughing. I said, yo, I'm gonna do a song watch. That's what I'm saying today. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I ain't gonna lie, I, you know, me leaking songs when I get it. As soon as I did it, like, I sent it to Press and Scott's so Not because the, it was gonna leak it, just because they know the joke. So they heard it, the whole thing come together. And you know, I'm like, fuck it, I'm making people have, you know, uh, suck my dick with barbecue sauce. The last verse, I don't know if I'm gonna say it again, but, you know what I mean? With blue cheese on my ball. <laughs> Fuck it. You know, you know what I mean? Fuck it. I ain't believing in y'all. I make your mom suck my dick with blue cheese on my balls. That's the last. So that's why, you know, fucking more sex with condiments. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Pig.
whatever we had. I love Martin Luther. I love uh, Malcolm X. I love Knox Landon. I love Falcon Crest. Um, I watched whatever my moms watched. Straight up. We all had TVs in our room, but we just had that moment. Like, you know, we hung out. So we watched Dallas. Yeah. We watched Dallas, but, and Knox Landing is like an off, you know what I mean? <laughs> so Knox Landing got better. We watched Knox Landing. And we watched Dallas, and then after Dallas, Falcon Press would come on. I didn't actually watch it. I just liked the beginning of it, you know. You know, I never seen a vineyard until I saw that on TV. So it was like, what is that? This shit's great. You know? <laughs> <laughs> nice intro, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I never watched Mission Impossible, but the Chinese flick would come on first on Channel 5. And then when it went off, Mission Impossible came on. So I would watch it until we get the mission, and then a little real to real going on fire. And then it, it started, mm -hmm. And once the fuse went out, trust me, I was dressed on my way out the door. I was out, bop, perfect time. <laughs> I like the intro and shit, so you know. I just uh, you know, I love sitcoms and shit. Uh, TV head, bop. Now we wind down talking about a bunch of songs, including some random acts tunes. The songs are Boom Ba Yeah, The Karate Kid, Random Call, Stop, Like You, and Cardiac. Nigga, I'm David Ruffin in the flesh, fucked up in the gang. That was the last of the battle. I mean, yeah, self explanatory, kid. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, you know, at one point, you know, you can be nice, but uh, other things can, you know, fuck your career up, man. So, I always say it's drug use, it's drug abuse. So if you're abusing drugs, I'll, you know. Get that shit together, man. But if you use them, use them right. But if you do them, but if you abuse them, you know, that's not right. Hey. Cows begin raps with the wackest lines. And then I say, like, the wackest lines. Smack, pump it from every back when I'm black. That's nah, hot. Like, this is so bull. <laughs> I was, you know what I'm saying? Hey. My right hook could give you a large dent on the side of your face for fucking with Clark Kent. Um, you know, I'm older now, you know, sometimes I'm like this, but I'm older. I might be dressed in a certain way, and you might mistake me for just some regular, you know, nice do gooder. And then when I beat the shit out you, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just being Clark Kent that day, you know what I mean? So don't think I can't fuck you up still. I'm still the son of Jarrell, no matter what the uniform is. Pay. No love letter rhymes and raps about chicks, just a whole lot of drugging and thugging. That's it. It ain't even a shot. It's just what I do. You know, I'm just talking about what I do. Like, if you... Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when DJs would check for a record. Now these niggas want to check for a record. Um, I, I didn't even write that. Um, Rob Stone from, uh, Rob Stone owns Cornerstone, and uh, with Fader, the, the man. Yeah. Yeah. He um, wrote that. What? Yeah, true story. Yeah. Well, he gave me the line. I was down south writing around, and he was talking to Drew. He said, yo, Drew, tell him. I said, I remember when DJs would check for a record. Now he's, you know, he didn't say niggas, but now these dudes want to check for a record. I'm like, bam! And I, and I went right in and said it at the end of the um, verse I had. Yeah. So he got co-writers. <laughs> Rob Stone was a co-writer on that. What up? Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. Boot Camp Click ain't nothing to Wu Tang. Um, I was on tour like last year. Last year, last year I was on tour overseas and um, I seen Red and Math, and he was like, "Yo, Red was like, yo, what you mean by you know?" He said the line. I said, "Yo, what is about? Um, I meant nothing." I don't know what the fuck, you know what I mean? I, it just sounded crazy. 
I swear to God, I rode in, I rode Wu Tang. First of all, why am I doing that? <laughs> no, I love Wu Tang, but I'm boot camp. You know what I mean? But why am I writing that? I love the song. I love Wu Tang. You know what I mean? But why am I putting that? In my... You know what? That's stupid. Let me do that. Wu Tang Clan ain't not here to fuck with. That much. Way stupider than that. Boot camp click ain't nothing like I just shit it on my own crew. Like, <laughs> you ain't shit to go at Wu Tang. You know, so, it's a joke. They didn't know them all like, what the fuck you mean? You know, and none of them did that. They know it's a joke. You know what I mean? Like, love is love. Like, Ray was like, yeah, I knew you ain't know what the fuck you was talking about. You know what I mean? True story. You know what I'm saying? It just was dumb to do. <laughs> so I'm gonna have no reason, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Have fun. Make some good music sometimes. The first verse is the worst. Actually, it's not, but it just sounded cute. Big. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. I can't do no more of this. Okay. That's great. That's great. I come back. You know what I mean? I come back, man.